And with that, the fourth impeachment inquiry into a sitting U.S. president got underway. It's out in the open now. The public received its first look today into the impeachment inquiry into President Trump. Now, Democrats argue the Trump administration withheld military aid to pressure Ukraine to politically Mm, do some investigations. Ukrainian Ambassador Bill Taylor and State Department official George Kent were the first witnesses. Now, Taylor revealed some new information about a phone call between President Trump and the EU ambassador. Taylor says his staffer overheard President Trump ask about the investigations. Following the call with President Trump, the member of my staff asked Ambassador Sondland what President Trump thought about Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland responded that President Trump cares more about the investigations of Biden, which Giuliani was pressing for. Now, the staffer who overheard President Trump's call with the ambassador, Sondland, will testify behind closed doors on Friday. We've got political reporter Mike Valerio here to break down what he saw. You watched all of this today. All of it. And, and I'm wondering, what did Democrats really want to accomplish here? Leslie, quite simply, they wanted to frame the question of impeachment around one simple question. Was the president acting in the national interest with everything happening in Ukraine, or was he acting in his own personal interest. So we have these two star witnesses from the Democrats here who are in this room to talk about what is normal? What is the national interest? And the national interest from their point of view, we're talking about more than a half century of foreign service between the two of them, is to defend Ukraine at essentially all costs, to fight against a resurgent Russia that is threatening Europe. And we saw firsthand from Bill Taylor and George Kent their alarm, their fear and frustration when they learned that the president's, from their point of view, personal interest was subverting national security interests. They say that is not normal, and they did set up some interesting testimony coming up on Friday. So this sort of goes back to that staffer who overheard what could be a pretty damaging phone call, right? Right. So we just mentioned, of course, that staffer and this phone call. It's going to be the main question that is mm -hmm. dealt with on Friday. So to go back to that soundbite we heard at the top of the show, this is Gordon Sondland, a Trump appointee who spends millions of dollars supporting the president, becomes ambassador to the EU, visiting Ukraine with these two public officials we heard from today. Sondland calls the president, and the president, according to this iteration of what happened, is more concerned with the investigations into the Bidens rather than what Sondland saw on the battlefield, looking at Russian mm -hmm. tanks, the Ukrainians who had died in the past week. So again, Leslie, it goes back to what is the president more concerned with, his personal interests or the interests of the country? Boy, this was a blockbuster hearing. It was, what, five and a half hours yeah. long. You got to wonder <laughs> if, if the public is dialed into this whole thing and, and what, if anything, people see here is going to sort of move the public opinion. Yeah, and you know, we were talking about that in the newsroom before the broadcast. Is the needle really going to move here? And I'm not sure if it is going to move with what we saw today because the hearings were so long mm -hmm. and the Republicans really got into the weeds of the testimony. So I think a danger what we saw with the Mueller investigation when you get into the weeds we're going to have so many hearings coming up in the next few weeks it will be a lot Republicans are also making the argument now that a lot of this information is secondhand but that plays into the Democrats who say we would love to hear firsthand information give us somebody like Mike Pompeo give us somebody like Mick Mulvaney the White House says no but it looks like they are hiding a lot when they say no for these witnesses. All right, so we got through today. Friday is another day. Friday, yeah. We'll be having this conversation again, but you'll be back at seven o'clock taking questions. You can send Mike a tweet and you'll find him on Twitter at Mike V W U S A. We'll see you then at seven o'clock. All right, see you then, Mike. Thanks, Leslie.